Hello and welcome back. In this Black Excellence presentation, we will highlight the top 12 retirement cities for African Americans. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. We put together this list of cities with a primary goal. First and foremost, to identify retirement value, places that offer a high quality of life at an affordable price. Another timely metric we've long considered is the availability of medical care, cities that encourages a healthy and active lifestyle with good air quality, convenience for walking and biking, and housing affordability. Since living well is just as important as living affordably, we look at a number of quality of life indicators, including entertainment options and rate of violent crime. The biggest factor Factor we take into account involve money, including median home prices, the overall cost of living compared with the national average, along with state tax rates, including special income tax exemptions for Social Security, other retirement income, state of state, inheritance taxes. And last but not least, we wanted to focus on areas that were characterized by excellent diversity with an African American population of at least 30%. In this original Black Excellence video, we will be featuring the 12 cities that are ideal for African Americans to retire. So without further ado, let's get started. Number 12, Rochester, New York. Rochester, New York's third largest metropolitan area features a unique blend of history and innovation. Many of the homes and commercial buildings in downtown Rochester are original, dating back a century or more, while others are undergoing renovations to become modern lofts and workspaces. Former home to pioneers and independent thinkers like Susan B. Anthony and Frederick Douglass, Rochester has worked hard to preserve and honor its landmarks. For decades, Rochester area residents have opted to live in the suburbs rather than the city proper. However, with several developers now aiming to provide luxury housing downtown, the tide may be turning. Ultimately, Rochester's biggest asset is its people. Residents are generally considered to be warmer, kinder, and more welcoming than their downstate brethren. Maybe it's due to the region's family focus, or maybe it's because residents spend a lot of time inside together during the long cold winters. But whatever the reason, Rochester is largely a welcoming and friendly place. During the warmer months, outdoor festivals celebrating local artisans, different cultures, or even fruit are a weekly phenomenon. The warmer months are also prime times to bring the family to the Sea Breeze Amusement Park, baseball games at Frontier Field, and the Buffalo Bills training camp in Pittsford, New York. Rochesterians enjoy more than 3,500 acres of nationally recognized parks. And with Lake Ontario, many residents spend warm days out on the water sailing, boating, or fishing. During the winter, residents bundle up and head to nearby ski slopes and sledding hills. One of the reasons many people choose to live in Rochester is its affordability. The cost of living is significantly below the national average, which is likely why families choose to move to the area and stay. Rochester averages nearly 90 inches of snow a year, but businesses and schools are rarely called off. The summers, however, are glorious, with weather that is warm but not too hot. Number 11, Augusta, Georgia. Located near the South Carolina border, Augusta, Georgia is the state's second largest metropolitan area. Most out-of-towners recognize Augusta as the home of the Masters Golf Tournament. But those who live here know there's much more to the area than fairways and sand traps. Today, Augusta is home to a thriving culinary scene and residents show a deep appreciation for the arts and the outdoors. It is also becoming a destination for retirees who want warm weather and a low cost of living. Plus, suburbs in nearby towns, Evans, Martinez, and Grovetown are go-to places for families to settle and commute into the downtown area. Augusta is probably best known for its golf courses. The scenic Augusta National Golf Club hosts the Masters Tournament every year. Those who aren't golfers will also find plenty of ways to get outside in Augusta. In the downtown area, the Augusta Riverwalk features two parallel brick walkways, one along the Savannah River and the other elevated above. 
Saturday farmers markets and Sunday jazz concerts take place along the river between May and August. Sports fans can cheer on the Augusta Green Jackets baseball team. For a dose of nature, residents head to the Finnessy Swamp Nature Park and Clark's Hill Lake. History buffs can visit to a President Woodrow Wilson's boyhood home or visit the Lucy Craft Laney Museum of Black History. Residents also enjoy concerts at the James Brown Arena, plays at the Imperial Theater, and fine arts at the Morris Museum of Art. The cost of living in Augusta varies widely by neighborhood, but overall it's noticeably cheaper than the national average. This low cost of living draws families, college students, and retirees who want to live in a decently sized metro area, but not pay a high price for housing. Augusta sees a good amount of rain each year, and it remains humid year round. Number 10, Atlanta, Georgia. Among the nation's fastest growing metro areas, the Georgia capital is attracting newcomers from around the country, and people are looking at this part of the country for culture and commerce like never before. If you learn about everything Atlanta has to offer, it's easy to see why. Atlanta features award-winning restaurants and chefs, iconic locales that rival any across the country, including the Tony Award-winning Alliance Theater, the CNN Center, and the Western Hemisphere's largest indoor aquarium. Although a sprawling, constantly developing area may mean construction sites at every turn, a dense tree canopy covers any unsightliness and prompts Atlanta's reputation as the city in a forest. The Chattahoochee River that traverses the metro area and Stone Mountain, the world's largest chunk of exposed granite, located just northeast of the city proper, also offer a quick escape from any urban anxiety. And there's still a sense of that southern charm that pervades the dynamic metropolis. People here enjoy the outdoors. Parks like Piedmont Park in Midtown and Centennial Olympic Park downtown are prevalent throughout Atlanta and it's common to see people taking advantage of these urban oases with a game of ultimate frisbee or a family picnic. The parks also provide the perfect locations for Atlanta's numerous festivals that bring people out in droves. Atlanta residents are also avid sports fans flocking to SunTrust Park to cheer on baseball's Braves or to Mercedes-Benz Stadium to root for football's Falcons. Meanwhile, families have access to a number of educational attractions, including Atlanta's famous aquarium. Atlanta has been revitalizing many previously declining neighborhoods across the area. This has resulted in the good, like the Pont City Market, an old warehouse turned mixed-use development in the old Fourth Ward, and the bad, an increased cost of living. The average cost of living in Atlanta still remains below the U.S. average, despite the fact that home prices are on the rise. Atlanta's weather is one of the main reasons people like living in the region. Summers may be hot and humid, but the subtropical climate brings four distinct seasons, and winters are remarkably mild. Number 9. Greensboro, North Carolina Greensboro, North Carolina is one of those places that's big enough to have everything you need, but small enough for you to regularly bump into people you know. People who live here love it and say they have no reason to leave. Those who do leave will often return home to Greensboro to raise their families. Greensboro is part of the Piedmont Triad and is nicknamed the Gate City with good reason. It's a short jump to and from all the major cities in North Carolina. Spend a day in the Blue Ridge Mountains to the west or head east for a beach weekend. There is no shortage of arts, entertainment, recreation, shopping, and restaurants to keep locals busy. Greensboro is home to the region's largest hospital and it boasts 170 well-kept public parks and gardens. A broad range of neighborhoods offers a diverse array of homes to satisfy different tastes, and a strong sense of community makes North Carolina's third largest metro area feel like a small town where the residents are neighborly. Greensboro is bursting with many cultural attractions, such as the ACC Hall of Champions, the Greensboro Science Center, the Greensboro Historical Museum, and the popular Greensboro Coliseum event complex. The International Civil Rights Center and Museum, where 
the peaceful sit-in at the former Woolworth store took place is perhaps the metro area's most famous attraction. Downtown Greensboro is experiencing a revitalization that's evident when you see its several nightclubs, art galleries, a piano bar, antique shops and upscale lounges, bars and breweries. More than 90 miles of trail are available for hiking, biking, and walking. Meanwhile, golf is a favorite activity in Greensboro, and Sedgefield Country Club hosts the Wyndham Championship in August. Beginning in May, families descend upon Greensboro's water park, Wet n Wild Emerald Point. Still, the cost of living here is less than the national average. Greensboro residents pay roughly the same amount as the average American for everyday expenses like groceries and transportation, but housing costs are significantly lower here than they are in other major metro areas. Greensboro experiences four distinct seasons, though winters are milder than in cities to the north. Annually, you can expect more than 200 days of sunshine. However, summers can be very hot and humid. Number eight, Washington, D.C. The Washington, D.C. metro area has the perks of a large urban area. It's serviced by an extensive public transit system and is home to plenty of restaurants, entertainment venues, and a variety of museums, public parks, and other cultural sites. Meanwhile, each neighborhood in the district and the surrounding towns has its own atmosphere. Residents gather for block parties, mingle at dog parks, and converse at coffee shops, creating an ambiance similar to that of a much smaller community. DC metro area residents don't want for things to do. The district is home to numerous cultural attractions, including several Smithsonian museums, theaters, and year-round markets. The area also encompasses a blossoming restaurant scene that will please any foodie, and plenty of nightlife venues from the trendy bars along the U Street corridor to concerts at the Capital One Arena. District residents are also big sports fans, coming together to cheer on the Washington football team, the Wizards for basketball, the Capitals for hockey, and the Nationals for baseball. Outside the immediate metro area, residents can take advantage of hiking, camping, and boating opportunities in Shenandoah National Park, Great Falls State Park, and other outdoor spaces. Both Southern Maryland and Northern Virginia also feature numerous wineries and orchards. Living in D.C. is expensive. The median home sale price in D.C. is significantly higher than the national median. Your cost of living also depends on where in the metro area you choose to live. Summer in DC takes some adjustment because of the high levels of humidity, but the warmer temperatures usually linger into the beginning of fall, easing Washingtonians into colder weather. Winter brings some snow that can result in a public transit shutdown and road closures. Springtime is pleasant, and the blooming of the cherry blossom trees in March brings many tourists to the area to see the white and pink flowers along the tidal basin. Number seven, Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte is a region that's equal parts old-fashioned Southern charm and high-energy cosmopolitan bustle. Charlotte is a metro area on the rise and has its own culture, culinary sophistication, and unique feel that's making it a more enticing place for people from all over the world to settle down. This melting pot effect makes Charlotte an easy area to break into. Charlotte has become a place filled with new restaurants to try and events that attract people from all over. It's a standalone destination area, no longer living in the shadow of Atlanta or Charleston, South Carolina. Though Charlotte has evolved significantly in the past decade, the transformation is only continuing, as evidenced by the numerous construction cranes across the skyline. Its climate is more manageable than Florida's, and its housing prices and living expenses are more manageable than New York City. You can take your family out to eat without spending a fortune. And on the weekends, free events are easy to find. The emphasis on getting active is important in Charlotte, beer related or not. 37 miles of Greenway trails provide the perfect opportunity for biking, rollerblading, or running. Culture is rich in Charlotte, with places like the Blumenthal Performing Arts Center, the Mint Museum, and the Levine Museum of the New South offering plenty of opportunities to learn. Sports fans will feel right at home in Charlotte too, as the area features professional basketball and football teams. Despite the abundance of housing inventory, rent prices are slowly creeping up. 
For those looking to buy, the medium home sale price in Charlotte is significantly below the national median. One thing that surprises newcomers to the South, Charlotte's humidity. Though the region is best classified as Southern light in a cultural sense, it's fully Southern when it comes to climate. Charlotte's mild winters and pleasant falls make sweaty summers worthwhile. On average, the metro area sees less than four inches of snow per year. Number six, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Philadelphia offers a unique setting for an eclectic mix of modern lifestyles, mingling both the edgy and the sophisticated. History and art are pervasive in the city proper. Walking through downtown, you'll likely spot murals and mosaics coating the sides of industrial warehouses and ivy climbing the walls of 300-year-old brick buildings. Culture is well established in Philly too, as evidenced by the array of art galleries, music venues and theaters, as well as the nation's oldest art museum. Every section of Philly is distinct. Young professionals cluster in trendy neighborhoods like Fishtown and Old City, where dozens of restaurants and bars provide opportunities to socialize. Areas like Fairmount and Chestnut Hill cater to the more affluent city dwellers with boutique shops and upscale townhomes. Families tend to leave the center city area in favor of the quality schools and larger home options of areas like Manayunk, East Falls, and Roxboro. Small public parks are interspersed in the grid work of Philadelphia, an important aspect of William Penn's design for Philadelphia. These green spaces bring welcome relief from the daily hustle and bustle and are an integral part of the city of brotherly love. And the best part? It should come as no surprise that the place that invented the cheesesteak is a huge foodie hub. From fine dining to an exploding food truck scene, Philly serves up a cultural smorgasbord of options for residents to sink their teeth into. Established beer gardens pepper the metro area as well. Meanwhile, if there is one thing Philadelphia natives are known for, it's their unyielding love of their sports teams. Throughout the year, locals pack the stadiums, arenas, and sports bars to cheer on their players. Philly's parks provide residents with plenty of opportunities to be active. Fairmount Park, one of the largest urban parks in the country, features a multitude of wooded trails for hiking. Philadelphia is also home to numerous acclaimed cultural sites, including the Philadelphia Museum of Art and monuments to American history, the Liberty Bell and Independence Hall. Philadelphia's cost of living is only slightly higher than the national average, which is good compared with nearby East Coast metro areas like New York City and Washington, D.C. Housing costs have remained relatively stable year over year, even as home prices have risen around the country. Winters in Philadelphia can be downright cold, and the metro area is often subject to snowfall. However, during the spring, summer, and fall, residents are quick to take advantage of the numerous outdoor spaces. Number five, Raleigh-Durham Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Raleigh-Durham and Chapel Hill are known for their research technology roots and collegiate rivalries. This tri-city region, known as the Triangle, is luring new residents every day with strong job growth and a high quality of life. Many people who call the Raleigh and Durham metro areas home are young, friendly, diverse, and educated. They enjoy dining out in local restaurants, many of which have earned national accolades, and gathering over craft beers in one of the region's many microbreweries. A strong sense of community is evident, as strangers are quick to provide a friendly conversation when standing in line at the supermarket. Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill also encompass beautiful green spaces, family-friendly museums, and a growing art and music scene defined by monthly gallery walks, summer concerts, and music festivals like Hopscotch. Living in Raleigh, Durham, and Chapel Hill means having access to cultural facilities like the Durham Performing Arts Center, the North Carolina Museum of Art, the Contemporary Arts Museum, and the North Carolina Symphony. Meanwhile, cafes and bars around the area's university campuses are enjoyed by students and residents alike. More than 20 craft breweries have made the region their home, further improving a growing food scene. Also, the area has the most live music venues in North Carolina. The family-friendly area also has a children's museum, 200-plus parks, 
and a 152 mile greenway system for safe biking and hiking. Raleigh and Durham is a great place for sports fans with college athletics and professional hockey, soccer, and baseball teams. The cost of living in Raleigh and Durham areas is slightly lower than the national average, with home prices climbing significantly over the past few years. Housing costs will continue to rise as more people flock to the area in search of a career. However, relatively low property taxes make home ownership easier than in other major cities. Compared to other technology and research hubs like San Francisco, the North Carolina Research Triangle is significantly affordable. Summers here are hot and humid. Meanwhile, winter rarely calls for snow, but icy road conditions are known to happen. Businesses and schools tend to shut early for winter weather advisories. Number four, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. The great outdoors are easily accessible in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania's capital. Bikers and runners take in the scenery of the Susquehanna River on the trails of Riverfront Park, which also hosts many of the metro area's annual festivals and events. Residents also enjoy hiking the famous Appalachian Trail or camping and mountain biking in the many nearby state parks and forests. The Harrisburg metropolitan area has more of a small town atmosphere than many of the East Coast larger metro areas. And with one of the country's most affordable housing markets and a cost of living below the national average, Harrisburg provides an urban atmosphere with a manageable price tag. Should you seek entertainment beyond what's offered within the city limits, Harrisburg residents are within easy driving distance of Amish country, Gettysburg National Military Park, and Hershey Park. With its amusement park, concert series, and the spa at the Hotel Hershey, famous for its chocolate treatments. Big city weekend getaways are also there for the taking. New York City, Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington DC are a few hours away by car. When it comes to entertainment, the metro area's small size means limited options for eating out and nightlife in general, but those who live here aren't bored. Outdoor enthusiasts take advantage of the trails along the Susquehanna River and the region's proximity to several state forests for recreational activities such as hiking, climbing, and camping. Music lovers can attend concerts at local arenas and experience live music at area coffee houses and bookstores. Harrisburg also features many galleries and museums, such as the Susquehanna Art Museum and local artists' exhibits at the Art Association of Harrisburg. Theater Harrisburg, Open Stage of Harrisburg, and the Harrisburg Area Community College's Rose Lerman Arts Center offer regular performances. To enjoy the area's history, locals head to the National Civil War Museum and the State Museum of Pennsylvania. While Harrisburg isn't necessarily regarded as an affluent area, its housing market is exceedingly affordable. That, coupled with a cost of living well below the national average, may result in a greater expendable income for Harrisburg residents than those in other parts of the country, especially given that the average annual salary in the area isn't all that much lower than the national average. The spring temperatures vary widely. Harrisburg gets some form of precipitation on average 122 days per year. Precipitation is rain, snow, sleet, or hail that falls to the ground. Number three, Chattanooga, Tennessee. In many ways, Chattanooga is the comeback kid of Tennessee. Chattanooga now boasts a revitalized Main Street, premier outdoor recreation, and a hearty startup scene. Chattanooga's first turnaround was its riverfront, a $120 million project completed in 2005 that paved the way for popular events like the Ironman Triathlon and the River Rocks Festival. A technology evolution came next in 2010 when Chattanooga's electric power board premiered the fastest internet service in the country. Now homegrown startups like Bellhops and tech transplants like Carbon5 find themselves at home in Chattanooga. While Chattanooga continues to move forward offering urban amenities like expanded downtown living and the newfound Chattanooga Film Festival, the area's small town spirit fostered by farmers markets, tight-knit networks, and owner-operated small businesses is alive and well. Chattanoogans are proud of where they live. 
Nicknamed the scenic city, Chattanooga is known for its beautiful natural surroundings. Outdoorsy residents find no shortage of world-class climbing, hiking loops, kayak routes, and mountain biking trails. The 10-mile Chattanooga Riverwalk, which winds along the Tennessee River through downtown, is a mild excursion. Chattanooga's Coolidge and Renaissance Parks, a combined 36 acres of public land, walkways, and sculpture art, also sit along the Tennessee River. Meanwhile, Chattanooga's love for all things local means there are plenty of small boutiques, specialty coffee shops, galleries, and restaurants to frequent. Fraser Avenue and Warehouse Row are other prime shopping spots. Other downtown destinations include Chattanooga's Landmark Aquarium, the Hunter Museum of American Art, the historic Tivoli Theater, and the iconic Walnut Street Walking Bridge. The cost of living in Chattanooga is below the national average, but that keeps pace with its average salary, which is also lower than the national average. Chattanoogans experience all four seasons. The area's moderate climate makes for mild winters and steamy summers. The metro area's location between Missionary Ridge and the Lookout and Signal Mountains allows Chattanoogans to enjoy a breathtaking view of changing leaves every fall. Number two, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Winston-Salem, which locals refer to as Winston, is a region on an upward trajectory that still maintains its southern roots. Although the city is traditionally southern in its friendliness, it has an international feel. The metro area celebrates its diversity during an array of festivals and through a variety of cuisines. You'll find restaurants serving everything from traditional North Carolina barbecue to Indian curries and Greek pastries. Unlike many of North Carolina's other larger metro areas, such as Charlotte, Raleigh, and Durham, Winston has not seen a huge population boom over the years. This slow and steady growth has preserved the region's small town feel while allowing for improvements such as repurposing old textile and tobacco factories into loft apartments. Due to heavy interest in residential and corporate development, the region has become a fertile land for entrepreneurs and small businesses. The arts have been at the heart of Winston-Salem for almost 250 years. The fifth largest metro area in North Carolina is home to the Southeastern Center for Contemporary Art and the Ronalda House Museum of American Art. The University of North Carolina School of the Arts, an institution that hosts community performances and other cultural events, produced talents such as Jada Pinkett Smith. The region appeals to outdoorsy types too. Winston boasts a web of local hiking trails and a couple of state parks, including Pilot Mountain and Hanging Rock, which are just a quick drive away. The metro area's scenic Piedmont Quarry is a must-see as well. One of the most appealing aspects of living in Winston-Salem is the bang you get for your buck. The average income of its residents is less than the national average, but the cost of living is significantly lower as well. Housing costs in Winston-Salem are much less than the national median sale price. The summers are warm and muggy. The winters are very mild but wet, and it is partly cloudy year-round. Number 1. Jacksonville, Florida and you probably guessed that our number one retirement city had to be in the sunshine state of Florida. Jacksonville is the largest metro area by landmass in the continental U.S. and it offers a range of culturally and aesthetically diverse neighborhoods surrounding downtown. Sitting near the Atlantic shore in northeast Florida, Jacksonville is tied together by bridges crossing rivers to unite residents in the downtown area with nearby beaches. Restaurants, shops, and entertainment options fill all of greater Jacksonville's neighborhoods. There are nature trails to hike and marshes to kayak. There is history to see, and there is business to develop. The metro area is big enough to find something for everyone to enjoy. Jacksonville is growing. The region witnessed an ignition of the art and music scene, stimulating business development that has led to demand for a higher standard of living. As a result, Jacksonville is undergoing an economic boom. Jacksonville's seat on the Atlantic coast lures many who wish to live near the beach. Popular shorelines include Amelia Island and Ponte Vedra, both of which are known for their golf courses. 
Residents also enjoy outdoor activities such as camping, hiking, and cycling. In state recreation areas like Hanna Park in the Tamukwan Ecological and Historic Preserve. Such areas complement the beaches of Jacksonville with its waterways and expansive coastline for fishing, boating, and other aquatic pastimes. Jacksonville also has a growing restaurant scene in the San Marco and Southside neighborhoods. The fine and performing arts are best viewed at the Museum of Contemporary Art, the Cummer Museum, the Ritz Theater, and the Florida Theater. The Jacksonville Veterans Memorial Arena caters to sports fans as it is home to the Sharks indoor football team as well as college and minor league basketball teams. Other teams include the Jumbo Shrimp Minor League Baseball Team, the Armada FC Professional Soccer Team, and the Jaguars NFL Team. The cost of housing in Jacksonville is lower than the national median sale price. Although you should expect cost fluctuations depending on your preferred neighborhood and type of residence. For many residents, the largest daily expense is transportation as many people rely on their own cars to get around. Jacksonville experiences an uneven distribution of seasons. The summers are long and hot, while fall and winter tend to arrive much later than expected compared with the rest of the country. Jacksonville is also susceptible to heavy rains and tropical storms. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.